Hey guys, so today we're making some homemade artisan bread. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. Y'all, I am so excited to be making some homemade bread today. So we're going to start with three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And this is a really simple recipe. It only calls for like three or four ingredients. And so I'm going to add in one fourth teaspoon of instant yeast. And um, for the extra yeast, you can just put it in an airtight container and put it in your refrigerator. And then I'm adding in some salt and one and three fourths cup of warm water. Um, you want your water to be between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit so that you do not kill your yeast. And so I am just mixing this up until um, everything is combined. Again, you do not want to knead this dough because it's super simple. Um, and you don't need any other ingredients. You see how simple this was? And so you're going to cover it with some plastic wrap or you can simply put a clean dish towel on top of your bowl. And I'm going to let this sit for um, six to eight hours. So mine went for about eight hours. Um, and so I just let that sit and I put it on top of a cutting board because it said to not put it on a cold counter. And so this is what it looks like after... Um, I let mine sit for about eight hours and so I am just going to put some flour on my work surface and then I'm going to take my dough out of the bowl and then we're just going to fold this about three or four times and this is going to create I guess some layers or whatever but you're not going to need this dough so I'm just going to form it into a circle and then I'm going to um, just let it sit until I preheat my oven. So this is an adaptation of Jim Leahy's No Knead Bread. He owns a bakery in New York. I'll be sure to list the link in the description box below. And so my oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just cutting a slit in my dough so that the steam can release. But um, I put a Dutch oven in my oven for 30 minutes to let it heat up because you need this to be nice and hot for your bread. And so I'm going to place my dough in uh, this Dutch oven and I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it cook for about 30 minutes. And so I've had this Dutch oven for a couple of years now. I got it from Walmart for maybe about $40. And so I'll be sure to link this in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing this Dutch oven. And so this is what my bread is looking like after 30 minutes. And so now I'm going to take the top off because I'm going to let it continue to cook for another 15 minutes or so just so that it can brown. And so after that, you're going to take your bread out of the Dutch oven. Y'all, this is so simple. And I'm putting it on a wire rack and letting it cool down um, so that I can cut it. So this cooled for maybe an hour and a half. And so now I'm going to cut a few slices and this bread is so delicious you guys it's nice and crispy um you can make a sandwich you can you know put some butter on it whatever you want to do with this bread is is really good it's really simple all you need is a dutch oven some flour salt and some yeast and you have homemade bread y'all it can't get more simple than that and so i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will have the ingredients in the description box below. Also check out the Dutch oven. The link is in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Bye.